Carry-On. This is Ahmed Dan. Today I'm going to take a look at a Carry-On luggage, which is a London Fog, uh, London Fog brand Carry-On luggage, which I have it right here. And I have some notes here, so I don't miss any points. So the name of this luggage is London Fog Vintage 20-inch Expandable Hardside Spinner Carry-On. So it's kind of a big name, uh, but you know, this is a 21-inch. And uh, if you're looking for the specific specs, which would be 20.5 uh, by 15.5 and 9 inches. Now it has an uh, expandable feature, so you can see that uh, the zipper here, uh, if you need more space, it easily uh, expands. You have to just like, you know, open uh, the zipper, which is going to be actually right here. So you can see that uh, this is going to expand and if you need it. So a lot of these luggages now, they actually offer this feature for more flexibility. So I'm just going to take a look at some other uh, this is made of a lightweight ABS material, so this is you know ABS, not polycarbonate. So if you are doing uh, occasional traveling, then uh, ABS is just fine. But if you are like you know traveling uh, all the time, I recommend uh, I recommend more polycarbonate than ABS. And also some uh, of the luggage companies now they offer a mixture of uh, ABS and polycarbonate. So ABS uh, hard side luggage they are usually cheaper than polycarbonate, and they have uh, you know they are uh, hard uh, they ca but they cannot take like you know impact uh, like polycarbonate so for that reason polycarbonate is more durable uh, but you know ABS is just fine for occasional travel occasional traveler now you can see that this is this has eight wheels which we have it uh, right here and whenever you are buying a luggage you have to see that you know how flexible they are how easily they're rolling so so far it looks like they're okay and we're going to uh, do a test uh, later on there that you know how easily they roll and then it has a uh, the zipper uh, they mentioned that this is self uh, repairing nylon zipper but this is not ykk uh, i didn't mention what brand is this uh, so this is like you know looks like their own branded zipper and uh, the body is uh, made of four leather uh, highlights which is right here and the edge guard which looks like you know fall leather as well and then here uh, you can see that this is a this has a vintage look so this like you know uh, i like the look uh, it looks like a really vintage look and still it looks very like you know cute so for that uh, reason i like it that way now when you're looking at the luggage from outside uh, i see one flaw right away uh, which is it doesn't have a grab handle on either side so whenever you're buying a luggage look for a grab handle on the usually right if you're right-handed so the reason being if you're putting it on the in the overhead bin having a grab handle here it makes the thing much easier and puts low pressure on your back but looks like this one is missing that part so for that reason like you know you have to kind of test and check uh, what your luggage is missing and then uh, another uh, feature we have let me just take a look here so the side uh, the handle looks like uh, you know very okay it's not it doesn't wobble too much uh, like you know when you're buying a luggage also look for the handle if it's not too ugly so what I'm going to do I'm just going to like you know show you right here and you can see that this seems to be holding up fairly well you know it, it doesn't like you know weigh too much ugly that's another thing you're going to look for and then uh, another thing we're going to do is a quick uh, rolling test so let's uh, you know put this luggage here and we are going to roll and see how far it goes uh, this is like you know hard concrete and Okay, so one thing you can see that it doesn't disperse that much. It's kind of going straight. So which is a good test you can do. If it like, you know, when you roll it, if it goes totally other way, that means your luggage has issue. So what happens there when you're at the airport, then it's going to keep pulling you on either on the left or right. And it's going to give you a lot of trouble. So that's something you have to look for. And usually airport has like, you know, carpet, uh, heavy carpet. So you can do another roll test when you're buying luggage from your store just to roll again on the carpet and see that how smooth it's rolling. So for example, if I put it like way, uh, you can see that, you know, it doesn't get stuck too easily. It going, it's going a good distance very quickly. So that means it has a good rolling. Uh, the 360 degree wheel is doing a good job. So that's another thing you should be looking for when you're bu uh, buying a luggage. So in terms of rolling on concrete and uh, carpet, which we have it right here. So it looks like the, this luggage passes the test. So now what we are going to do, another thing is that uh, it has the corner edge guard uh, which is a good feature because it's going to take a lot of like you know heat or scratches on this side but uh, one thing about ABS is that it easily 
attracts the scratches and you can see that after only one travel i see some scratches here and there although it's not a lot it's negligible but this is just right after only one trip so this is something another feature to look for i can see one scratch here here and this luggage just has had one trip so we're going to open the luggage and take a look inside and see how it uh, looks so let's uh, open the luggage from here so this is kind of uh, you know classic london fog designing uh, which it has right here it shows and there's the uh, strap uh, to hold your uh, clothes which is another good feature now this side has a mesh zipper compartment which is very good you can kind of like close it all the way and if you're sharing luggage with your partner then also it's a good thing a uh, good way to keep things separate now they attached a 311 bag which is kind of extra and i like it that way so you can see that you know this bag you can use just to go through security and you can put anything under 100 ml in here so they included this bag but looks like they didn't include any like you know tiny containers but they just included the bag but usually luggage they don't contain uh, you know give you anything so that's another good feature and then here is the mesh uh, pocket and you can separate some items and this is a kind of a compartment you can use to keep things totally separate that's another uh, good feature now here you can compress using uh, the compression uh, belts and you can like you know maintain the uh, length so that's another good feature and this is london fog uh, vintage hard side carry-on luggage and again let me just take a look if i missed anything uh, okay i missed the weight so this is like you know seven pound 3.4 kg which is a very good weight but usually i would look for uh five pound uh because this i i think this is a little bit even overweight uh because if you are having a carry-on limit then you know uh just uh letting uh go seven pound for your luggage is a lot so for that reason my recommend recommendation would be just try to stay within five pound if if it's not difficult then seven pound is okay but do not go over seven pound that's going to be like you know, too heavy and you're not going to have a lot of item because it's going to go over limit so overall um i'm happy with the product but i'm not happy with the, the fact that they didn't come with a side handle uh, also i wanted to show you that there's another feature here which is a right here grab handle so you can use this like you know if you're taking it from uh, the bottom and if you're putting it under seat uh, or if you're putting it under anywhere then you can use this handle to just like you know lift it up uh, which they included so that's another uh, good feature to have and the closing the zippers and opening looks like they're smooth uh, no complaints there so overall you know this is uh, this works fine as a like you know a traveler who travels a few times a year but if you're like you know traveling every month or like you know your full-time travelers then definitely i would recommend going with polycarbonate than abs but this works just as fine and uh, in terms of pricing i think you're gonna get mixed prices on this you're looking at somewhere between 100 dollars to 150 dollars or in that range and again this is london fog vintage 20 inch expandable hard side spinner carry on so for the next uh, travel tips and tricks video i'm going to put a link on the screen and i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching